What's up, y'all? It's uh, Mike Telly Tuck here. I'm coming at you from Wednesday morning here in Allen, Texas. A nice cup of joe to get the day started, and a nice couple five chicken chicken licks. So what for these ones? I really went through and tried to think. Well, what what makes these notes any different than any other notes you'd play in a rock song or like a rock or a more blues song? And I noticed that what gives me that chicken picking sound is the use of my middle finger. I won't show you just my middle finger so no one screenshots it and gets me in some trouble. But instead of playing a lick like, just to give you a quick example, instead of playing a lick like a. That sounds, you know, kind of country, but as soon as you introduce your middle finger there. There's just an immediate difference in the pop and the attack. And uh, chicken picking is a, a form of hybrid picking. I, I think the difference between hybrid picking and chicken picking is the attack. It's like you can always tell when you're using your middle finger when you're chicken picking. But when you're uh, doing some hybrid picking, I think the goal for those guys that do hybrid picking is just to keep everything smooth and level. I like to make it known when I'm using uh, my middle finger there. Anyways, so yeah, let's uh, go through those licks. So we'll start with the one that's in uh, B flat. And it's just... Just kind of using some chromatics over the major pentatonic in B flat. plucking with the pick and then I use my my the pad of my thumb finger and middle finger to get that sound there. So I'll try to get really close here. See? Uh. Yeah I'm not one of those players that can do the thing where they hide the pick and their fingers mm -hmm. and just pick and then bring it back out. I don't know how they do that. Very confusing to me. Anyways, that's lick there in B flat. Next we have that lick in E. I like this one. It's kind of a super Brent Mason y type thing, but it's just play your kind of think of playing out of your E power chord. Then go root. It's a quick triplet down up down up. And then when you go up to the next, to the fourth string, that's when you introduce your middle finger, if you can see on this camera here. Middle finger, down, up, down, middle finger, down, up, down, middle finger, down, up, down, middle finger. And that's all kind of based out of the major pentatonic scale with some chromatics in between the second and the major third and the five and the six and then just up an octave second may, uh, to the major third five and six cool next we have a very useful note in D which is out of this shape so it's really easy to move around so we have root pick pluck with your middle finger back to root middle finger this way on the strings, that's when I introduce my middle finger there. 
it's usual for licks like like I can't play that sort of lick only picking it trips me up um, cool so that was the D lick let's go to C this one's really useful to use as well because whenever I'm thinking about soloing over chords, I kind of I'm very chord to chord player, and on a chord like this, I'm like, okay, I'm I'm over the C chord now, and I can kind of visualize just like you know your rock and roll power chord. That's kind of how I start the basis of where I think about everything. So I start on the fifth below of the C major pentatonic and go up to it. sit down and think about what makes my licks sound country or chicken picking -y. And these are the licks I came up with and I, I use these in my own playing all the time. I think they'd be great to memorize and utilize in your own playing. Anyways, uh, I'm doing some Skype lessons and Zoom lessons if you want to go further down the rabbit hole. You can email me at MikeTellyTuck at gmail.com. I'd love to help you out. My rates are uh, 60 bucks for an hour and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get into it and have a good time. And uh, if you want any of the tabs you see on my YouTube, shoot me, shoot me an email uh, as well and uh, I'll charge you just a little bit because that's how I kind of keep keep going with this uh, this content creating here. I'm having a great time and please let me know if there's anything you'd like to see and hopefully I can make that happen for you. All right.